Old Tyrion got his bottle of Elfbury wine and chased out of Franklin's beans after his brief affair with the princess and, unknowingly, helped her with a cool. But that's a story for another day. Old Tyrion found himself going down a deep, dark cave. He had checked his list and decided to go for the psychosis stem. The psychosis stem was a mushroom with mind-altering properties. The only place it could be found was deep underground, near the country of Gran Quidan de Oscuridad, home of the Droutino. The Droutino were elves that had a dark purple skin compared to their elven brethren, who generally had paler features. Long ago, two elves lived together, but due to the high elves' intolerance of the lesser elves, and they were banished underground, the lesser elves, known as the Drotino, despite being exiles themselves, didn't take too kindly to the upper folk. Ulterior was going to have to be careful. Ulterior had managed to make a torch. He made his way slowly through the cave, looking around in fear. It was quiet. Too quiet. I hope this mushroom is close. Old Tyrion's bracelet jewel flashed with the red light. Not likely, did it, would. Old Tyrion jumped up. Ah! Would you stop? <laughs> we both know the answer, dear. <sighs> did you want something? Nope. Just haven't checked in for a while, dear. Old Tyrion sneered. Thanks. All right, boy. I'll throw you a bone here, dear, would. Ulterion was excited. Really? Yeah. The mushroom you're looking for, dear, can only be found in the outskirts of the Gratino city, dear, dear, what? You don't have even to enter, dear. Great. Finally. An easy ingredient. Just watch for the giant spiders, dear, dear, what? Wait, what? The bracelet went silent. <sighs> I should have figured. Ulterion continued his trek. Deep underground. How far is this city? Ulfurion heard something in the distance. What is that? Ulfurion followed the music. Old Tyrion followed the music until he found himself in the outskirts of Grand Queen and the Escuridad. <gasps> Old Tyrion was taken aback by how beautiful the city looked. He looked around. It can't hurt for me to check it out. Old Tyrion made his way towards the large city. Ulterion hid behind the first building he could find. He peeked around the corner to find an amazing sight. As beautiful Droutino women danced through the streets in multicolored flowing dresses, and handsome Droutino men played lutes, drums, and horned instruments in dark clothes with bright stones in them. Everyone was wearing ornate masks that showed various monsters but in a surprisingly beautiful way. Old Tyrion smiled. Wow! Old Tyrion found himself walking towards a parade. He caught himself. Wait, what am I doing? Old Tyrion went back to hide behind the building. The Dratino hates surface people. They would kill me on sight. Old Tyrion peeked around the corner again. I need to find a disguise. Ulterion saw a Drautino man on the side of the road with a stand full of costume pieces. Costume pieces. Get your costume pieces. Ulterion smiled. There we go. The Drautino man continued to shout. Best costume pieces in town. Without noticing Ulterion speaking some costume pieces away.
As the Troutino party goers enjoyed themselves, they didn't notice the human stranger partying amongst them. Old Tyrion danced amongst the Troutino. He wasn't much of a dancer, but nobody seemed to notice or care. He was having a great time until he bumped into a Droughtino dancer. Old Tyrion found himself looking at one of the most beautiful women he had ever seen. She wore makeup in the form of a skull, but instead of all of it being white, there were sections of blue, and red, and green. The light from the fluorescent stones and fungus used to light up the city reflected off her makeup and the hints of her dark purple skin underneath. Her dress made golds and silver sparkle like stars. She glared at Ulterior. Who are you? Ulterior shook his head to get out of his stupor. What? The Droughtina continued to glare at Ulterior. I said, who are you, Mr. Ogre? Ulterior stared at her in confusion. Mr. Ogre? The Droughtina rolled her eyes as she pointed at the Ulterior's mask. He touched it to find that it was, indeed, an ogre mask. <laughs> oh, so I am. The Droughtina continued to glare at Ulterior. Oh, right. My name is Ulterior. Ulterior caught himself. Eo. Ulterior Eo. The Droughtina sneered. Tyrannio? Old Tyrion nodded with a smile while screaming his head about how stupid his cover sounded. Well, Old Tyrannio, you should watch what you are going. Old Tyrion shrugged. Sorry, it's just so crowded that I... The Droughtina shook her head. Oh no, that won't do, senor. Old Tyrion looked concerned. It's not? No. The Droughtina smiled demurely. You need to make it up to me. Ulterion smiled as he realized where this interaction was going. Oh. The Droughtina, Catalina, and Ulterion had found themselves in the alley, passionately kissing each other. During their passionate exchange, Catalina knocked off Ulterion's mask, revealing his human face. Catalina was shocked. A humano! Ulterion smiled. <laughs> Did I forget to mention that? Catalina went into a panic. Gods! Gods! Ulterion sighed. <sighs> Damn it. And ran off. Old Tyrion ran through the parade, forgetting that he didn't have his mask. Artigur stared at Old Tyrion in shock. Old Tyrion ran into a nearby alley. They won't find me here. Old Tyrion heard someone clear their throat. Old Tyrion slowly turned his head to deeper into the alley to see a group of Jotino guards, their legal way. Hola. Old Tyrion waved back with a nervous smile on his face. Hello. Old Tyrion ran down a cave corridor with the Jotino guards running after him. Old Tyrion ran into a very dark corridor. He looked back to see the guards stopping and looking towards him in horror. Fall back, men. We don't want to deal with the Urania Gigante. The guards ran back towards the city. Alterian smile. <sighs> I guess I'm safe now. Alterian's feeling of reprieve were quickly ended. 
when he heard something behind him. Old Tyrion didn't have to look behind him to know what he was dealing with. Oh, right. The giant spiders. Old Tyrion ran from the giant spider. Old Tyrion ran. But stopped when he almost fell into a chasm. Old Tyrion looked down into the dark chasm with seemingly no bottom. He looked back to see the giant spider still coming after him. Oh no. Old Tyrion looked around frantically. He looked up to see a large stalactite. There we go. The giant spider came up to the chasm. And found that its prey was gone. Old Tyrion hung from the stalactite and watched the giant spider wander off. He breathed a sigh of relief. As he tried to climb down, he kicked a rock loose. And, to his horror, the rock hit the ground. Which got the giant spider's attention. The giant spider looked back to see Ulterion on the stalactite. He laughed nervously. <laughs> Hello? The giant spider stared up at Ulterion. Ulterion began to get cocky. Ha! Can't get me up here. The giant spider started climbing the wall to the ceiling. Much to the renewed horror of Ulterion. Oh, right. It's a spider. The giant spider climbed to the ceiling and charged towards Ulterion. who whimpered as he faced his demise. <laughs> Until... a gargantuan tongue shot up out from the darkness and slammed into the giant spider, <laughs> crushing it, and taking it back down into the dark chasm. Old Tyrion sat on the stalactite. Although he was grateful for his rescue, Ulterion wasn't really excited to meet his hero, so he decided he would get his ingredient a 